Today is game four of our road. Day four? Yeah, day four. Day four of our road to IFPA. Uh, and I figure this is sort of twofold in why I'm playing this. It's not one of my favorite games, but it's, you know, it's a very popular game, very good game. Um, just I've played so much of it, I really don't want to play anymore. But uh, it's, this is a twofold for doing this. Number one, uh, I need to pick a game. And then number two, uh, I need to test this game. I've been seeing some reset issues with it. Uh, so I reseated some cables and uh, tried a couple things to make sh to see if that's what's causing the reset issue. I haven't seen the reset since, but I want to play it uh, so that I can get an idea on if there is actually a reset issue or not. So I'll play it for the next hour or so and see if it actually resets. It was resetting in a track mode like this, so the fact that it's not resetting right now is uh, promising, obviously. Um, but we'll see how it performs in the game. Uh, things of note about this game. Um, I've specifically disabled uh, Thing on this game. So the, one of the big features on this game and one of the things that everyone remembers about this game is the hand that comes out of that pink box. It's the thing hand. It comes out, picks up the ball, brings it back into the box, and then uh, takes it away, and it kind of gets locked in for multi-ball, so the physical locks rather than virtual locks. But the problem with that from a competitive standpoint is that the first person that gets to use those physical locks um, gets extra skill shots that no one has access to. So uh, I thought, well, let's try and remove that from uh, that advantage from the player. And uh, I thought, let's try it with Thing Disabled. So right now, Thing is disabled. So you basically, you will still get locks for shooting it in the hole. And you'll still get your skill shot. And you'll still, I think, get credit towards your multi-ball. We'll find out when we play. I kind of remember that being the way it worked. Uh, but you will no longer physically lock balls. So uh, that makes it, uh, A, harder to get multi-ball be more fair for all the players involved in playing. So for those who are unfamiliar with Adam's family, and the only people who are unfamiliar with Adam's family are going to be people that don't play pinball. But the general consensus is you want to complete this uh, mansion of modes, and you start the modes by shooting the electric chair. So uh, every time you shoot the electric chair, uh, you start one of the modes, you relight the mode by shooting either ramp the center ramp or the left ramp. Um, we are going to try and get Tour of the Mansion on stream. That seems like a very realistic goal to me. Uh, so I see no reason that I shouldn't be able to accomplish that. Uh, and other than that, uh, I'm trying to think of other things that are an issue. Right now the light is out that tells you um, your mode is lit. So I'll be keeping track of that in my head. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, I will try and have that fixed. The socket has gone bad. The light comes on and off every so often. So um, I'll try and have definitely have that fixed before I have it. So yeah, this is uh, a game that I'm sure if you've ever played pinball, this is probably the game you remember or the game that you have played. So yeah, we'll dive into it. I'm going to see what the volume is at. Maybe I need to turn it down a little bit. Eh, it's pretty reasonable. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, obviously, is find out where the skill shot is. You want to drop it into this hole in the back here on the plunge. You can uh, fall into the swamp if you plunge too short, and if you plunge too hard, it'll come around all the way into the pops, and you'll get a very dangerous feed. Um, I don't remember what the feed is like out of the swamp, so we'll try a few different things. We'll try holding the flipper up, we'll try a live catch, and we'll try having the ball come out and bounce over and see if that's completely squirrely or just go straight down the middle. So we'll try a few things and see how they all work out. All right, so let's start with our skill shot. So Adam's family also has play field validation. So what you see there is I didn't get the skill shot, but I also didn't hit a switch. So uh, you're free to let that ball dr drain and then try your skill shot again. There's no reason that you have to flip away on the upper flipper 
uh, if you miss your skill shot. As long as you don't hit a switch on the way down, you're safe to drop, to drop the ball and try again. So let's try again. See, and now we got a skill shot. I'm gonna try and go left ramp, and then I know this is, yeah, it's not great, so um, now we're just trying to get back under control. So there's two ways of handling the feed out of this left-hand side. You can either hold the mini flipper up and hope that you can get a really good live catch, but it's coming very far off on the tip, so it's very dangerous. Or you can let it drop and hope that it doesn't bounce into the out lane, which is a common thing that happens. So I've tried, so you just saw me try holding the flipper up. Didn't get a very good one. We can try dropping the flipper. Uh, I don't even think I can stage these. Oh yeah, you can. So you can try dropping the flipper as it's coming through to try and not make it come so far out. We'll try all these options and see which ones work best. So we've got it on the left flipper. So we're gonna shoot into the chair to start the cousin it mode. And I'm pretty sure the bounce over is pretty safe. So we'll do that. Nope, not as safe as I would have liked, that's for sure. But we uh, survived. So we'll shoot to the left ramp, or the center ramp, and then we'll shoot right into the chair. And that's gonna be Mamushka. See if we get a better feed, not really. Another ramp. And now we're just trying to survive, and we're gonna go right into the chair. So that's six million. That also completes the three million light. We're still hoping for a, I mean, those speeds aren't the worst, but they're not good. So, uh, but we're just gonna keep grinding out, shit. Grinding out this mansion. Uh, we're also working towards our greed letters. And greed, when you spell greed on the bookcase here, every time you hit the bookcase, that's how you light your multi-ball. So we're already three letters in. Uh, so at this point, we're automatically guaranteed to get uh, light lit, lock lit on the start of ball three, because at the start of every ball, we get an extra greed letter. So that's something. So let's go back into the chair. And now we have quick multi-ball lit, which is up there. Still getting a pretty shitty feet. Let's go into the chair again. We tried a little on the fly backhand there. Didn't work out, we'll try it again. So we're in the chair, so now we're in Fester's Tunnel Hunt, where you want to hit this swamp, the, the vault, and then the chair to get some value. Oh shit. But we're gonna go right into multi-ball. Oh, we tried to go right into multi-ball, but we just missed a little bit. Oh shit. So now the ball is well out of control. All right, back under control. We're gonna go to the center ramp, and then uh, we're gonna miss the multi-ball shot. So this is things flipped. You'll see it'll flip it away and into the swamp for me from the flip without, without me even having to put my hand on the game, which is pretty cool. So that's an attempt at a live catch out of a swamp. Did not go very well. And there's our multi-ball. So, good stuff. Death by French. Are there any Bally Williams from the 90s where playfield validation is more than one switch? Um, Let's go. I'm trying to think. Are there more? Me? Yes, I'm fairly certain there is. Like, I'm trying to think of a game where playfield validation is more than one switch. I'm looking around my room and trying to think of which one that does it for. Maybe not, actually. Because I was thinking like Whitewater might be more than one switch. I'll test that. I can test that one on my Whitewater and see if... Uh... Oh, that's fine. You know, it's totally ask the questions. I'm happy to answer them. Jackpot. 100% Jackpot needs more than one switch. It's three switches on Jackpot. So that's a perfect answer of a Bally Williams that uh, has more than one switch for, uh, for playfield validation. So I was trying to think of like Whitewater. I think Whitewater, because I know Whitewater, you can get um, the switch on the way down the Insanity Falls. And if you drain immediately, you still get your, uh, your ball back. But if you go through any of the in lanes, so I could, I mean, that's, that's what I'm curious to try now, because you don't lose your ball immediately if you come down Insanity Falls. 
So what other switches would you be able to hit and uh, not validate playfield? Part of me wants to go after Bigfoot on Whitewater and see if uh, and see if it gets if it validates playfield or not. So I'm, I'm going to try that actually. Uh, maybe that'll be uh, the next game we stream. So yeah, Whitewater would be fun. All right, so we're in multi ball. There is no skill shot, as I had mentioned earlier. Thing is disabled, so there's a ball sitting right there. So I'm still going to go for the skill shot shot because I can shoot to the left ramp and complete my thing as a result. And playfield still isn't validated right now, so we've completed thing. One shot toward the. Um, oh crap! I'm trying to talk in. There we go. Oh shit. That's the end of that multi ball. And that's a good feed out of the side there where um, I dropped the flipper and it came to. If I had done a better live catch, it would have been uh, much better. The other thing I forgot to mention uh, is that the magnets are disabled. I did not want to deal with uh, people cradling during multi ball and waiting for the stupid magnets to stop working. So magnets are off. Uh, we don't have to worry about magnets in any of the modes. So Seance is actually really good when you don't have magnets to deal with. So let's brick the electrical chair and then get the electrical chair. I'm gonna try and live catch, or, you know what? I'm gonna try and drop catch out of the electric chair this time and see if we get a drop catch. Not really. That was a either a bad drop catch on my part or, so we can backhand. Oh, things flip was going there. We can backhand the center ramp from the right flipper. So there's the perfect feed that we want out of that. We drop it just a little bit, and then we get a not bad feed out of that uh, mini flipper. So that's good to know. So now we've got seance completed. We'll go back to the electric chair. We'll miss the electric chair. Oh, there we go. All right. Nine million. I find that the like the drop catch is kind of close right there, but this, I've made the sling so sensitive that anything kind of touching it uh, sets them off. So uh, it's tough to get a drop catch that isn't perfect. It would tough. It's tough to get a live catch that isn't perfect. Oh, missed the upper left or the left ramp, and then uh, got a center drain as a result. But we got good progress on our mansion here. We're um, three mansion awards away from uh, from touring the mansion and uh, yeah good start so far so let's see if we can't get our skill shot so we don't need to worry about the ball coming back or we don't need to worry about doing anything with that ball just wait for it to drain and try our skill shot again there we go up the left ramp into the swamp not so much and into the, there. So now we're going to do the thing hurry up. But we're not going to get a good feed out of this. So we're hopefully going to hit the... Nope, we're not going to... We're going to drain. Yep, we missed the thing hurry up multi-ball shot. And as a result, the game punished us and uh, drained down the right out. So, all right, we've got our locks lit. So that was wrong. Locks, you cannot uh, score locks from the thing shot with thing disabled. So that means locks are only available from the vault. So you need to lock one ball in the vault and then you can lock one ball in the swamp and then you can get your start on the electric chip. So we'll have to try that as well. But we're so close to mansion right now that I really want to go after mansion. All right, that was not a great live catch, but we got the job done into the electric chair. And a really crappy feed there. So let's see what happens when we just let the ball. So it's not a great feed, but it's not completely dangerous if we just let the ball bounce over. So we're almost done. Let's, oh shit. I'm gonna go for one of my locks here. We'll lock. The other ball up in the swamp. We'll take our skill shot and um, 
I'm doing this because I want to try and get multi-ball and raise the dead at the same time. But I'm also wasn't sure if we got into Tour of the Mansion, if that would lock out multi-ball completely. I'm fairly positive that it would have, so I didn't want to be put in a situation where I was going to have no opportunity for multi-ball because Tour of the Mansion is not a multi-ball. So I wanted to at least get that done. Another skill shot. Another thing ramp, and we're gonna try and live catch that and do a very bad job. But now we're in multi-ball. So the main point of multi-ball is there's two jackpot shots, one on the train and one on the left ramp. Left ramp is double, so we obviously want to get the left ramp shot if possible. We've got a first deal with the kick out of these balls, so we're going to do a good live catch there. The sling got the other one, and we're waiting to see what happens. All right, so now we can try and do cradle separation. Not a good cradle separation, but that's okay. we still got a ball in play. We missed the shot up to the upper flipper. Oh, that was close. Uh, we didn't get, we got into the pop bumpers, but after the mode was over. All right, back under control. Let's actually hit the shot this time. Oh, so close. This is gonna come. All right, we're gonna have to try and cradle separate again. And we're gonna do a bad job of that. And those slings are very tight. All right, so now we're in a situation where we need to restart our multi-ball. So we gotta go very quickly into the thing shot. So it's a good live catch out of there. I think that's probably gonna be the best way to deal with it. And into our restart on the regular multi-ball. But again, because thing isn't working, we don't get to uh, go for a skill shot. But we do get a free feed for the jackpot, the double jackpot anyway. And then we wanna go right into the well, we wanted to go right into the bookcase, but we died pretty quickly there. All right, so now we want, we've got two left on the mansion, so we're gonna try and uh, make the mansion shot. Now we're one away on the mansion. So, two of the mansion is lit. I just need a decent feed. All right, back under control. <coughs> if I was a conservative person, I would post transfer over to the left and backhand the electric chair um, because that's a much safer shot, but I'm not a conservative person, especially not in this scenario, so I'm just going to take a, a on-the-fly shot uh, right at the electric chair and make it. So this is the wizard mode, tour of the mansion. And now we're just going to basically go through the modes that we got to go through as uh, we were playing the game. So, get some good value out of this. I'm always not, I'm never sure what to do when I get to the mansion. I think if I had to, yeah, that's usually what happens. I drain immediately when I get to the mansion. <laughs> uh, all right. Still a good game. Toured the mansion on game one. So, uh, 221 million. Oh, grand champion. Didn't even try that for that. Very cool. So that's a good first game. Got to tour the mansion, did our multi-ball, saw some feeds, learned some stuff. And uh, yeah, let's do it again. See if we can't improve. Welcome back. Back into the skill shot. Dialing in on that for sure. Left ramp. Half catch, and that's in the sling. Man, I think next time I'm going to let it drop and see if that's a little bit better because if you fuck up that live catch it's, and it's in the sling, you're in trouble. All right. Let's see. Left ramp again. So we're just going to let this drop down. That's not any better. <laughs> Bad live catch. I know there are people that also play this game for nothing but thing ramps if, uh, or left ramps I should say, if you've got a really good feed 
out of that uh, out of that side there because uh, the millions plus on the left branch I think goes up. I don't know where it stops, but I know it goes over 10 million if you do it in one ball. So let's see how much time we can spend doing that. Instead, we got a couple of shots on thing. Let's go back up top. Apparently, all we're going to do is hit thing over and over again. And we're actually trying for the left ramp here, not hitting thing. But I mean, we'll obviously take the value that we get out of that. And since I said I wanted to do that, I haven't been able to do it. But at least we're dialing in on that uh, thing shot, so that's nice. There we go. Man, I don't like that feed at all. It is just not very friendly. So we'll go up here. That's the shot that we wanted. So we'll do it again. And apparently there's a ladybug on my play field. There's a ladybug on my right flipper currently. <laughs> and now it's on its back and upright it again. Uh, I don't want to kill this ladybug and make a mess of my game, so I'm going to open the playfield and get this ladybug off my playfield. Alright. Just a moment. Good old technical difficulties. Come here, Mr. Ladybug, or Mrs. Ladybug. I'm not really sure what sex you might be. Come here. There we go. I'll put you over here. And then we'll continue. The wonders of live streaming. You get to see ladybugs saved from pinball machines. It's ladybug season since it's spring right now, so I've got a whole ton of ladybugs crawling everywhere. Alright, might as well take Mamushka or not. Now let's go for a thing flip. Or, yeah, double thing flip and two bear kicks. Nice job, Thing. Nice live catch there. Not into, not into the electric chair, into uh, missed electric chair and down the middle. Alright. So much worse game than yesterday, the last game, but uh, we're trying some things, we're doing some things. We're seeing what's different. Let's see how successful thing is this time. All right, things getting it, uh, getting it figured out. We're really getting that line catch down off the swamp, but we're lost. We've lost the uh, the forehand for the electric chair, and we've lost the backhand for the electric chair, and we've drained as a result of losing where the electric chair is. <laughs> All right. No match, probably. No match. Not that it matters, but I, I always liked that match animation on Adam's Family. It was one of the more uh, playful ones that I remember from the arcade days, and uh, I've always really liked it. So. So we can let this come down because we don't have to worry about validation of the playfield, because there's no switches on the way. We can go for another skill shot. Into that. Shitty live catch. But we're okay. In the electric chair. And then still trying to figure out how to deal with that kick out, because it's not, that is not what you want out of a kick out at all. And this is still not in a good spot for me. All right, that's better. Shit. And we missed the electric chair, and that's that. Ah, uh, Camper, this is... So, I guess you don't play pinball at all, because this is uh, one of the most popular uh, games ever created. So I think they made something like 26... Thousand camper with the hundred bits, yo! Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. That's really cool. Um, so there's uh, almost twenty-six thousand of these games in existence, 
So it's a very popular game. Uh, so I actually like playing this game. I made it to the wizard mode through on my first game by touring the mansion. We are going to try and do that again. Uh, our last game wasn't very good and this one's not starting off to be any better. So we'll see how it goes. But we're getting our skill shot and then we're gonna shoot the, not shoot the left door pit or the left ramp. Man, my accuracy has gone right down the shitter. All right, back under control. Let's find this backhand into the electric champ. Electric, electric champ, electric chair. There it is. So still trying to figure out what's the best way to deal with this feed out of the electric chair. That's not any better. But we're back under control. Let's go up to that and then try for a left ramp. It's a good left ramp. Let's try and get a live catch. Perfect. And then we'll go into the electric chair. Or not go to the electric chair. We'll go to the electric chair on the forehand. So now we've got our quick multi-ball lit. That was a little, I like that feed. I should say. Another one up the ramp. And we're going to go into the swamp. And then live catch on the right. Good. So we're going to start Fester's Tunnel Hunt. I mean, we're going to shoot the swamp. <laughs> Another good live catch. Into the electric chair or not. There we go. On the fly, backhand. And then we're going to try and take this directly into our multi-ball. So we're going to try and live catch out of the chair, which was, that was a really crappy live catch. This is going to be Thing, so we don't have to flip until he fucking misses. Fuck you, Thing. I'm only happy with you when you don't miss your fucking shot. Oh, God. Hey, that works. Three five million on a foil flip. All right. Let's get into multi-ball here. Nice. So we should be able to pick up Let's do the swamp. So if I short plunge right now into the swamp because Fester Tunnel Hunt is running, I will get 10 million for short plunging. So that seems like good value to me. So we're going to let that bounce over. And I think you can uh, backhand the vault. So let's see if I can't get this ball out of the way. I'm going to lose this ball, apparently. Nope, I'm still alive. <laughs> All right. Still not giving me... That's what we want. I'm fairly certain we can backhand the bookcase up there, which is where we want it to go. So let's... Yeah, definitely can backhand it. I was just a little early on that. But we're going to... We're going to flail around a bunch here. And then, yeah, all right, so this is where we want to be. So we're going to go a little later on the backhand and see if we can't get it in the bookcase. Close. So we're a little late on that one, but we're getting there. So that's definitely, I mean, a little bit safer, I think, than going on the fly. So we'll go a little bit earlier than the last one and a little bit later than the first one, and then it should go in there. <laughs> I don't think I could have shot that any better, but apparently so. The back the backhand into the bookcase isn't very solid, obviously. Let's get our thing points because we're wasting million shots up the left ramp towards our thing letters, so we might as well get that out of the way. Pick up the five million for that and we can start working towards our next thing. Another thing letter, we're already up at four million. That was a really good live catch off that feed and into the electric chair. So we're going to keep trying the live catch and hoping that we don't do that. Alright, we're okay. Into the ramp. Really nice live catch there. Back into the ramp. But that's into the swing shot and now it's going to try and kill me. And we can backhand the center ramp, but we were late on that one. Holy crap. Almost died there. Still got... Got it. Nice. So nice 30 million for making all three shots. Up to 91 million. 
And now we're going to go back to the electric chair for another nine million. Man, like fucking barely surviving those live catches. All right, we've got our ramp. Yeah, because we shot the thing, shit shot that. So we'll do that. Now our hurry up is lit there. I'm going to try and let this bounce over. I don't think it's going to be. Oh, let's. I should try that as an idea. See if I can't catch it on the right. So we want it. So hurry up. Nine million, not bad. So it's a good value on the hurry up. I mean, it would have been nice to get more, but I mean, with the way the feed is out of the electric chair, it's uh, not exactly simple. So we're going to full plunge. Well, not full plunge all the way around, but we're going to definitely try and go for another shot at the left ramp. And instead, we're going into the swamp. I'm letting that just come down, and we'll see if we can't get into the bookcase in this multi-ball. Apparently not. Multi-ball is not over yet, so I'm saying that in anticipation of not getting any bookcase shots this one, because that's sort of been part of the fucking course right now. Nope. The bookcase is such a weird shot to me sometimes. Sometimes I can dial into it. It's just not something you shoot very often, so there we go. 9.6 million for that. Oh, so cradle separation from the swamp kickout is not favorable at all. I haven't died yet from just letting it fall down, but I mean, I'm sure that'll happen eventually. So let's cradle separate again. Thanks, sling, that's okay. Uh, some assisted cradle separation there from the sling. And back into the ball. Yeah, so that kick out with the flipper up, definitely not safe. But we are dealing with two balls, so we've got a little bit of insurance policy here. So back into the vault, or bookcase, I should say. It's the vault, bookcase, I don't know. Call whatever you want. I don't care. All right. Getting some real good value out of this multi ball here. Come on, you can give me another one. Oh shit. I'm gonna stage. So you can stage the upper flipper. I don't know if you noticed what I did there. I just quickly flipped the upper flipper without flipping the lower flipper. So the upper flipper, as you see right now, is dropped and the lower flipper is still up. That's called flipper st uh, Shit, I just missed the real JG. Thanks for the follow, dude. All right, so that was a good multi-ball regardless of the fact that I fucked up and uh, tried to acknowledge the follow rather than play the ball. <laughs> but that's okay. My followers are more important than this ball on the play field right now. So, all right. Um, this is an interesting scenario where the 3 million is technically is, well, I shouldn't say technically, the 3 million is lit on the electric chair, but if I get the 3 million, I take away the 6 million insert. And I would obviously prefer the 6 million over the 3 million. But because I'd much rather get to tour the mansion, I'm not going to play with the semantics of trying to move it off the three million, and I'm just going to take it. Amanda, not Aaron. The real AJG. Oh, cool. Thanks for hanging out, Amanda. Oh, Aaron. I get it now. AJG, the initials. Cool. Good to see you. Thanks for hanging out. All right. Uh, so what am I doing? I'm shooting the electric chair. And then hopefully live catching out of the electric chair. And we're not live catching, we're shooting into the sling. But we're going to get another try at it. So we're just going to let this... Man, I really don't like... I mean, I do like that feed because for IFPA, that feed makes things not good but for the purposes of this stream I don't like having to fucking figure out what to do with it alright let's see if we can't do something nope still can't do anything and this tilt definitely needs to be tightened because I'm pushing the game around pretty good and not getting any warnings okay we're too 
two electric chair modes away from uh, Tour of the Mansion, and that would get us another Grand Champ score on this game, so let's see if we can't get there. I'm definitely going to go for my skill shot, because that also lights the locks. Right on the electric chair, so Tour of the Mansion is now lit. We're going to try and not fuck up that, but we did fuck it up, and we're going to go right back in for 50 million. Tour of the Mansion. Alright, so we also still have Raise the Dead running right now, so we're getting some stacks modes, which is kind of cool. But we're still not having a good way of dealing with the kickout issue. Survive that. And again, I think I still haven't really figured out what to do during Tour of the Mansion because it just is basically playing the modes. So. I think what to do is to go after left ramp all day because you might as well build up the millions uh, while you're in this, everything is just starting on its own. So I think that's what we're going to do. Or we're going to drain immediately like last time. Yeah, this is working out so far. Live catch, good live catch. We'll go center ramp, the thing. I meant to train, to right out lane, maybe? Nope. All right. That's what we wanted the last time. Seance. Well, this is good. So, I mean, if we can do three ramp shots, it's another 30 million. So there's no reason not to do that. And that's one of them. And we're going to go straight up to the center and just clear this mode off. Trying to get that live catch off the feed there, but uh, not succeeding. Yep, putting the ball in danger, that's for sure. So we spelled thing, this guy should be 10 million. Uh, tunnel Hunt has now started, and uh, I guess, yeah, 10 million is good, so. I could take a pot shot at the train. All right, let's take a pot shot at the swamp. Oh, oh. Let's let Thing take a pot shot at the swamp. Ah, Thing, disappointing bastard. Alright. Another bear kick. 17 bear kicks. Let's go for another Thing ramp, because we're getting some good... Oh, there we go. Well, we took a train anyway. We'll get a train crash for 5 million, plus we'll go into the swamp for 5 million. And then we've got a live catch there. Back up to Thing. And into the left ramp. Nope, not that time. Oh god, this is bad. All right, two bear kicks. Nope, drain immediately. Fuck, stay alive. All right, we're okay. We're okay. No, we're not. Now we're back. At, okay, we're fine. Hit the ball, thing. Jesus Christ, you suck, thing, fucker. And now uh, the ball is out of control, thanks to thing. But thankfully, I have a nice loose tilt that lets me get it back under control. <laughs> I'm gonna take. One more pot shot to go around the orbit to see if I can't get some raise the dead value here. But, and that's what I get for doing that. I get to drain immediately. Yeah, got a special. Still, really good game there. We're gonna get a bunch of bonus. Mamushka, we got raise the dead, four million, 22 million bonus. Three hundred forty-six million. that's a good game. Geo, I'm gonna go with Geo because I can't pronounce the last bit. Thanks for the follow, dude. So another grand champion. And yeah, that was a good game. Almost made it all the way through the mansion, playing through it the whole time too. Uh, so yeah, that's good. I'm trying to think of some other things that we should try and learn on this game. Uh, I've basically gone over almost everything. We can try uh, some less of the live catch and see if we ever get the ball to fall into the left out lane from not flipping the flipper. Because, I mean, uh, obviously getting a safe 
feed without having to worry about a, li a live catch and throwing it into the sling and throwing it away is, is the better option. Um, I don't think we played, no, we didn't play a multi-ball in that game, so, I mean, 346 million without, well, I mean, we played the quick multi-balls, but we didn't play the main bookcase multi-ball, so we'll try that. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, go for our skill shot. And again, play field validation, we don't need to worry about that. We can just let that ball drain and then take another uh, shot at the skill shot. And now we do, this is definitely validating play field, so we missed our skill shot. We fucked up the live catch, but we're right into the electric chair. And trying to figure out how to deal with this electric chair kick out. That is perfect. That is exactly what I would want to do from that electric chair kick out. If I could replicate that, so we're going to let the ball drop down. Yep, and so that is why you don't ever let the ball drop down because while you know four out of five times it'll give you an in lane the one time it doesn't is the one time you really don't want it to and uh, it ends up going left out lane bouncing off the top of that wire form and going left out lane so while it's easier to uh, to try and let it bounce and, and roll on the dice as it seems um, it would be much better obviously to hold the flipper up or try and do like a half drop catch up there and uh, try and go for a live catch on the left. At least if uh, you fuck up the live catch, that's your fault as opposed to just letting random chance happen here on the left and uh, and see if you uh, survive or not. I personally prefer to rely on my ability to live catch rather than the fucking game not to fuck me on the left-hand side. All right. Lost their skill shot, so we're missing another skill shot. Good live catch there on the right. We're going to backhand into the bookcase here and uh, start working towards opening that up so we can go to the main multi-ball. There is a way that you can backhand into the bookcase and then it ricochets off into the upper flipper and then you can shoot the, uh, the left ramp, which is really cool, but not something I can replicate in any regularity. Nope, see it didn't come off enough on the bookcase for me to even get a shot at it. That one was almost there. Well, I mean, it was there, I flipped late, but uh, that just shows that it is possible. So let's get into multi-ball. We're going to have to try and get this ball under control, and now we're good. So because my thing is disabled, we have to shoot the bookcase in order to get our lock, first lock ball. So we're going to do that. Right after that missed shot is when we're going to do it. And uh, yeah, we're going to bounce that over and miss another shot. And live catch. All right, let's try. We haven't tried the post transfer yet. So I mean, I tried the backhand into the bookcase. It wasn't. I didn't really have any success out of three shots trying to do that. Um, but we haven't tried a post transfer. So let's try a post transfer from right to left and see if that's. So yeah, that's totally fine. Perfectly reasonable post transfer. Not too squirrely. Comes right to a cradle on the left. So no reason that if you need to make a shot on the left that you shouldn't be your post transfer. Oh shit. And we died because we missed our shot. So that was all per perpetrated on the fact that we missed the bookcase, shot into the train, and then got a left sling drain into the right out lane as a result. ZZ Top, thanks for stopping by, dude. Good to see you. All right. Let's see if we can't get our skill shot figured out again. If I was smart, so we're going to let that go because of play field validation. If I was smart, which I'm not because I'm stupid most of the time, the, uh, on the in so some people don't know that these arrows on the shooter uh, guard here are actually meant for you to measure your shot. So you can reliably predict how strong the shot could be if you're able to do a clean release every time you plunge the ball. So if I was smart, I would sit here and look at these arrows and figure out where, what arrow uh, I put the plunger on to release it to fall into my skill shot. But I usually always do it by feel, and that's why sometimes I'm very successful, or usually I'm not very successful. So let's try and look. So like I'm going to go with the top of the rubber on the shooter rod, 
uh, at the bottom arrow and see where this ends up when I release it on the plunge. So obviously too hard. Oh God. And so now we know next time we get a plunge that we should go either two arrows up or one arrow up and then see where it ends up letting us plunge next time. And once we figure out what arrow uh, the plunger should be sitting at, the tip of the plunger should be sitting at, we should be able to reliably get that skill shot every time. But um, that's theory, not practice. I'm very bad at also doing clean, clean releases on the plunger. So that's also why I usually do it by feel rather than shooting and trying to measure it with the arrows. All right, thing finally. Thanks for getting that for me. And we lost the live catch, and the game's gonna kill us. Thanks for the the host there, Amanda. I appreciate that. All right, that was a really shitty game, but I showed a few more things, and uh, maybe you learned something. But uh, yeah, we can do it again. So let's try and use these arrows. So we're gonna go at the second, you probably can't see, well you can kind of see. We're gonna go with the second arrow on uh, the bottom here and see if that's the skill shot. So nope, we need to go a little bit softer. So we're just gonna go in between the third arrow from the bottom and the fourth arrow. So that's where we wanna be. So now every time I plunge, I should just put the rubber on the plunger in between the third and fourth arrow, or between the fourth and third arrow, I should say, and we should get the skill shot every time, rather than doing it by feel and guessing. So if we're on the right flipper, I'm going to do, I don't want to, like, shooting directly at the bookcase from the left flipper is just bad. There's not a good way to do that. Um, it's the feedback is going to be dicey as fuck and it's much safer on the right flipper than it is the left. So if we're on the left flipper, I'm probably just going to go and miss the electric chair. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then the game is going to punish me. No, nope, the game says that's okay. All right. Kind of batted it into the swamp there. All right. Good live catch. So we'll backhand into the bookcase. Shit! That was... <laughs> that was really fucking close. But we're our lives still. So, we're gonna go back to doing that. Missing with the upper flipper to try and bat it into that... Uh, so, like, as I'm sitting here talking about how bad the return is from the forehand shot, I'm getting really shitty returns from the backhand shot as well. So, maybe don't listen to me. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the electric chair here for nine million. All right. That live catch was bad, but we've got greed open now. I'm gonna try another backhand into the bookcase. And that's as good as it's really gonna get there. I mean, I don't think I could have made that, I mean, made that shot any better to try and get in there from a backhand. So I'm going to go uh, and say, that from a cradled backhand, the bookcase doesn't seem makeable. So we'll try again. Of course. Thanks, game. Just fucking completely show me up right there. Oh, you said it's not makeable. Well, let me show you it's fucking makeable. Fuck you. God damn it. <laughs> uh, am I going to be getting any more new games before IFPA? Uh, yeah, ZZ Top. Um, so we're partnering with Player One, which is a, a really great uh, distributor here in Ontario, and um, they're going to bring in two to three games for the World Championship. And right now, I'm pretty sure that we're going to get the new Iron Maiden, uh, probably the Pro, or I shouldn't say probably. We will be getting the uh, the Iron Maiden Pro. And then I'm trying to decide between, do we go with Star Wars? We're definitely not going Guardians of the Galaxy, but maybe Star Wars, but I mean, eh, more likely dialed in. I really like dialed in, so uh, having an opportunity to play it in a tournament setting would be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm also trying to make the decision between, do I buy Iron Maiden 
or do I buy a dialed in? So having both of them side by side for the World Championship is uh, some a bit of a selfishness there on my part as well. So yeah, the uh, we'll we'll definitely have at least those two new games. But other than those two being brought in from Player One, the game list that you see on the IFPA website is going to be pretty static. Uh, the games that are highlighted on the game list on the IFPA World Championship website are the games that will be used in the tournament. So we have 48 games that I've uh, put aside and made so that they're definitely uh, ready to go for the tournament. And then I've taken another 12 and we're going to do sort of a practice bank with those. Dialed in is a good challenge. Yeah, I definitely agree with you, Amanda. I really like Dialed in. It's um, the first game I've been excited about in a very long time. Um, when I played it for the first time, I just felt that this was so different and so amazing that I wanted one really badly. But now everyone I'm talking to says that uh, I should be looking at uh, Iron Maiden. So, I mean, it's going to be a really tough decision. CZZ Top, I haven't spent a ton of time on Iron Maiden. Um, I want to spend more time on it, but I've only played like three games on it, so... I, yeah, I guess ball times on, on dialed in can be really long, Amanda, but uh, I mean, I can bastardize any machine to a point to make the ball times not very long. So uh, if I get enough time with dialed in before the uh, IFPA tournament, I definitely can definitely make it play a lot quicker. I'm positive of that. But it is going to be a showroom game, so um, I'll have to try it out, obviously, before I'm confident saying that it's going to end up being a tournament game. But it will be here for the event. So, uh, I mean, that in and of itself would be cool. So, uh, back to the game at hand. Uh, we did lock a ball, and as I had mentioned earlier, I have a disabled thing on this, so there is no locking a ball at the skill shot. So, the smart thing to do once you've locked a ball is to short punch into the swamp and take your second lock. Because, why shoot the bookcase one more time and get yourself an extra two or three million or whatever when you can take a nice soft plunge into the swamp and help guarantee yourself the regular multi-ball. All right, so let's plunge the ball and uh, see what we get. So I think this is going to be interesting. Aha, see, I wasn't 100% sure on that one, whether after a blocked ball, uh, play field validation still matter because technically the game had already validated play field, everything was moving forward. Um, but it still has play field validation, so you can still replunge uh, balls after uh, you've locked them. So that's inf good information to have. Even I wasn't 100% sure on that one. So there you go, one more little tidbit. Got our skill shot. We're gonna go left ramp. We're gonna go to a live catch. And then we're gonna start multi-ball in the electric chair. Just like I planned. All right, now we get to decide how to deal with the kickouts. Probably gonna live catch on the right, and then shit's gonna go fucking crazy from there. Perfect. Couldn't have done that any better if I tried. That shit was recorded. <laughs> Let's see. Calling shots like no tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's let's clip this part as a part to oppo opposed to the part where I. Uh, Cradle separated a ball into the right out lane. Let's not let's not remember that part. Let's remember this shit. All right, so let's go up top and shoot. Hopefully a left ramp. There we go. We're gonna cradle. We're gonna do a stage flip on the upper flipper. All right. And now after the game proving that the bookcase was backhandable, it's going to let me do it again, right, Adams family? You gonna let me do this backhand again? Nope. That one was early, and we lost the ball as a result. I'm trying to decide if I want to do an over/under on the left or just a regular quick separate. Eh, we'll do a. Should have done an over/under. And that was really stupid. So what you saw me do there is take a pot shot at the bookcase after multi-ball has ended to try and get the next jackpot lit. But that was completely stupid because by the time the jackpot had lit after shooting the bookcase and it kicked out of here, I would never have had an opportunity to do to get the actual jackpot. 
So that was probably the dumbest decision I've made this entire game or this entire stream so far. So don't do that. So we'll start working back towards our uh, tour of the mansion. James, thanks for stopping by, dude. Shit, <laughs> how's it going? You almost made me lose my ball. Hella Adam style. Yeah, dude, that's Ella, that's my real name. I guess I could put Hella Adam style instead of Pickle style, but I like Pickle Rick, man. I got my Rick and Morty hat on. It's, you know, I think I'm wearing a South Park shirt today, but uh, normally I'm wearing a Rick and Morty shirt. All right, we got Thing Multi Ball, so we definitely want our skill shot for four million. We didn't get it. We're gonna let it drain because we have playfield validation on our side. And we can get another skill shot. And we're just missing it. See, and I'm not, see, I'm, I'm, I'm again, not listening to myself because I'm stupid. I can just line up my arrows here and not plunge the skill shot either. Because, you know, the game likes to prove me fucking wrong all the goddamn time. See, like, that was, I put it in the same spot and I was completely off comparatively. Alright, let's get a live catch on the right here. Nice. And now we're going to go bookcase. I mean, now we're going to go to the post right beside the bookcase. If post for points. That's what everyone says, right? Post for points. There we go. 11 million. It's good value. Shit. Damn it. This is bad. And it's gone. All right. It is my trademark. We 100% do need a Rick and Morty pinball, pinball. And Pickle Rick is going to be my trademark until I get so popular that uh, Rick and Morty finally noticed that I'm uh, completely and utterly ripping them off for their copyright and tell me to stop using Pickle Rick as a, a username. <laughs> So I'm completely expecting that to happen eventually. Uh, yeah, for sure. That's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to become a full-time uh, Twitch pinball streamer. And uh, holy shit, James with the bits. Thanks, dude. Working on my way towards becoming a professional pinball streamer one bit at a time. We can just buy them out. Yeah, totally, dude. One bit at a time. We're going to buy out the rights to Rick and Morty. All right, so this is a good skill shot. We're getting four million for that, and then we're getting five million for thing, and then we're gonna get one million from shooting the left ramp, right? That's what we're gonna do. I mean, we're gonna get a greed letter and into the electric chair, completely planned, from the left to the right sling into the into the electric chair. That's what we were doing on purpose, and then we're gonna uh, not do stupid shit like try and backhand the center ramp on the fly. We're gonna do it from a cradle, where it actually works. Oh shit. Hey, look at that, we got a 2X, which I haven't done the entire game. So we'll get three mil, no, we shouldn't get that. Cousin it, nice. And we're, oh, that's good, we're getting some really, we're gonna get some good value out of that, that's for sure. Change your name to Rick Pickle. You know, I actually have put a little bit of thought into um, what would oh shit, I wasn't even lit. What would happen like if I actually got a uh, cease and desist from Rick and Morty, and I thought what I could try doing is changing my name to not Pickle Rick and just put like a big uh, red X between over all my stuff and say I'm not Pickle Rick anymore, and see if that's enough of a difference to uh, get them to leave me alone. <laughs> But I don't know how much, uh, how realistic that is. I assume if I did that, they might still have an issue with me. So that backhand is definitely not 100% reliable. So we're going to go up to thing and shoot a left ramp instead. And we're going to drop this out and do a really shitty live catch. And hope we don't drain as a result. It's not looking good. All right, we're good now. 
So we're getting close to tour the mansion again. We're gonna shoot in the electric chair and see, and that's exactly, I talked about this earlier, shooting from the right flipper in the electric chair rather than what's a really easy post pass on my game from right to left to backhand the electric chair is the smarter play. Because when you take a pot shot from the right flipper at the electric chair, that's a really good bonus. And you miss, that happens. So um, that's why I should listen to myself and post transfer from right to left when uh, I have the ball in the right hand flipper and want to shoot the electric chair. So that's me not listening to myself again. And I'm going to say fuck these stupid arrows in the plunge because they don't fucking work and I'm just going to do this by feel. Oh, good job. That's, that's uh, My feeling was to go into the pop bumpers. Yeah, all right. Back under control. And so this is exactly what I'm saying. I need to shoot the electric chair. I'm on the right-hand flipper, and my brain immediately goes, hey, let's just shoot the fucking electric chair. That's a great idea. Worked out so well last time. Let's do it again. And I'm like, no, post-transfer. Just fucking post-transfer over here. Take a nice, safe shot. Why are you being dumb? Oh. We're going to go... Yeah, see, that's what I really want, to fucking ricochet it around and get into the electric chair anyway. All right, so we're going to go left ramp to thing. And I should be able to plunge a ball into the swamp for five million because I'm in tunnel hunt. Yep, got the five million for that. And now we're just trying to survive these kickouts and not do dumb things. But dumb things seems to be my motto. And there goes one ball, so we're just gonna try and get this back under control. We tried an on the fly backhand there and uh, didn't get it, so. And then we tried a backhand, proper backhand and almost died. And then an on the fly backhand and almost died. And now another backhand and almost died and finally died. Because we're making on the fly stupid shots like a moron instead of getting control and taking nice controlled shots at things that kill you. So this is the Adams demonstration of how not to play pinball. That's, I hope you've learned something from my completely shitty play. And uh, yeah, <laughs> let's, let's play a game where we don't play like a gigantic pile of shit. How does that sound? Welcome back. All right. This is going to be the nice and safe play of Adam's family rather than the on-the-fly shooting shit and dying play of Adam's family. Yeah. See? Even on the, on the, on the feel skill shot. That's what we like. Right into the left ramp. Crappy live catch. And now we're going to post transfer over and get a nice cradle and shoot it into the electric chair. But we're not going to freak out here. And we're going to do it again. Oh, shit. There's no reason to rush. We got all day. I mean, we don't have all day because that's going to be really fucking boring, but I'm still struggling with that kick out and fucking thing didn't get my shot. You suck, thing. Still a bad feed out of there. I want to get a shot on Thing during Thing mode just because fuck Thing for missing the swamp shot that I just missed as well. That's uh, it's not great, but it's a little better. And that's, yep, see, there's the classic let's shoot from the right flipper into the electric chair you're gonna dash play that i keep i'm famous now famous for right yeah good job solid play got our skill shot without the help of the stupid arrows don't need you stupid arrows i can get my own skill shots all right there is no skill shot here but we're gonna go for a left ramp so we can complete thing we didn't get one all right, so that's interesting. Um, we were talking earlier about how many hits to a switch does it take to validate playfield. So in this instance, I hit one of these stand-up targets, 
but my play field still isn't validated. And I know that because the ball is still locked up there in the saucer. So I've got another shot now at the left orbit. So we can hit more than one switch on Adam's family and not validate a play field. So some more information for you people. Still haven't gotten, so took a sling. Still play field, still not validated. Still getting another shot at that left ramp. And now play field is 100% validated. And we got the left ramp the hard way. But we want the bookcase now. So we're gonna have to cradle separate this. We're gonna do that the really crappy way by not actually cradle separating at all and just draining the ball. So I'm gonna take my five million from Thing. Thank you for five million Thing, and I appreciate that. And then we're gonna go into another left ramp and then into an electric chair to start Mr. Tunnel Hunt. Or we're not gonna get the left ramp at all. Still not dealing with that kick out very well. And this is not gone, almost gone. Still very not good. There we go. Hit the shot! Fuck you, thing. Still useless. I wonder if I can bat the ball. I'm gonna bat the ball out of the electric chair and see if I can go right into the left, the center ramp. Nope. I bet you there's a way to do that. Nice live catch. Shit. Don't come out. There we go. Oh, balls. All right, we're still good. Thank you, Thing, for hitting the shot that you're supposed to hit every time. All right. Oh, God. I was not expecting that to grab the ball. All right, back under control. Let's get a lock shot, nice. We'll take a lock in the swamp. And then we'll take a skill shot. And then we'll shoot a left ramp. Nope, still can't find a left ramp. So we're gonna go right into multi-ball here. I mean, yeah, see, totally meant to do that. I meant to bounce it off the left post, hit the top of the right sling, and go into the electric chair. Alright. Bad feeds, bad everything, bad catches, bad all the things. Alright. That was a really quick multi-ball, but we gotta restart if we don't drain immediately. But we do drain immediately. And so we don't get a restart. We get to try on ball three to complete one, two, three, four, five shots to the electric, six shots to the electrical chair to at least get two of the mansion. I'll let that go when the shit is happening. Glanzer, good to see you, dude. What the shit is happening? This is pinball, dude. It's uh, not South Park. I haven't. I don't know that I'm gonna. I, I'll get back to see it streaming South Park at some point. Um, but right now, because I'm uh, doing a World Championship very soon, I'm uh, I'm doing uh, pinball. So I'm trying to do a different game every day. And so far, we're four for four. So we're doing good. Still missed the shot. All right. Five million for that. We're gonna find, man, I'm off the left ramp now for some reason. We're gonna live catch out of the swamp here. Nope, we're gonna lose the ball for the slings. And we're gonna start the mode from the right hand side swamp. All right, back up top. Shoot the left ramp. Drop the ball to the left flipper. Live catch. Backhand. Perfect. That's what we should do every time. Except 
except for that. Is that feed? I'm gonna have to figure out some way to deal with that feed, because I do not know what to do with it other than try and live catch it every time, which isn't working, because that sling is super sensitive, and this whole thing is going very poorly right now. Three million multiball, yes! Three million out of a possible, what is it? 15? 13? 15. 3 million out of the possible 15. I'm gonna get more out of one fucking skill shot here. Watch this. Alright, the skill shot's full. Shit. Still have invalidated playfield. See, I can still drop it right now. We hit a couple slings there. Still have invalidated playfield. Now we're going into the swamp. Have a nice swim. The worst thing about this multi-ball is that 3 million static ball time. And we already lost it anyway. Save that ball. Picked up two more bear kicks. And then picked up two more. No, 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 no. All right, there we go. 6 million. I'm going to do what I said before. I'm going to try and bat it into that ramp. That didn't work out. Go left ramp. Even though I've lost that shot completely, we're doing shooting trains and targets instead. Oh crap! Bad live catch. Trouble all over the place here. Ah! Fuck! All right. Hit the ball, thing. Good job, thing. Nice job, dude. Pose transfer over, Adam. You don't need to fucking do it on the left right flipper. There we go. Into the dead. Flip away into the bookcase instead of the ramp. Into the swamp, because I didn't feel like that was going to make it across. And this is going to kill us. Nope. All right. Let's see if we can't. Oh, I thought when you roll down the in lane like that. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. When you roll, I was say, as I was saying, when you roll down the in lane, it lights the chair for a very short period of time to get your next mode rather than having to shoot a ramp. And uh, I tried it on the fly and missed. All right. I'm going to do another game. I'm going to get to tour the mansion this time. And uh, then we're going to probably call that a day. But we're not leaving without another tour of the mansion. Have a nice hey gamer chick, thanks for stopping by. Good to see you. Playing Adam's family today. Uh, if you've ever played pinball, you'll probably recognize this game. Oh shit, that was a shitty post transfer. There we go. Hit cousin it. I don't want to hit cousin it. I like cousin it. I mean, I like cousin. Yeah, I, don't, I like Cousin It. Cousin It's a good dude. Or a good hairy thing, I guess. But we're gonna hit him anyway! So screwed Cousin It! Yeah! Take that, Cousin It! Oh, Thing. Oh, God, Thing. Thing also wanted to hit Cousin It there. 18 million, though, on a Cousin It. That's pretty goddamn good. Oh, that one should have been in the hole for sure. That one also should have been in the hole. That one is in the hole. Look, darling, just what we've been searching for. Still flipping away. Oh, that was really nice. Right into the bookcase. That doesn't light our mold, though. So I'm going to try and backhand the ramp. And I'm going to take a stupid shot like that. But we actually made it that time. I feel like flipping it away as much as it's kind of dicey is... Just feeling a little better than trying to... Fuck you, Gabe, for proving me wrong every time I say something. I'm like, oh, yeah, flip the ball away. It's totally fine. Flip the ball away, Andre. It's like... <laughs> it's like it's fucking listening. It's like every time I say, oh, just do this. It's like, no, fuck you. You can't do that. Oh, oh, you can't do this. Oh, yes, you totally can. If I didn't know you were an inanimate object, I would think you were listening to me, you piece of junk. All right. Oh, 
Nice. Hit the flipper. Kind of a shitty live catch, but that's okay. We got it out of control. Oh, God. This is bad. There we go. So don't flip away. Let's see if we can't give it a little bit of help. That's not any better than flipping it away, man. We don't have... I think we're probably having... <laughs> I was saying, I think we're having probably the most success from uh, the live catch out on the electric chair, but uh, we're not having much success shooting from the right-hand flipper into the electric chair, even though I keep saying I'm not going to do that anymore and continue to do it anyway. So what's the old saying? Do as I say, not as I do. So don't do as I say or as I do, I guess. There we go. And I feel like we lost the live catch. Yep, we lost the live catch out of the swamp there. Okay. That was okay-ish, that drop catch into a shot to the ramp. We're doing another hurry up here in the thing. We should be able to get it now. 5.8 million isn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, yeah, soft plunge because there's no point. I guess I could have gone for a left ramp. There's no reason not to. But we'll get it the old-fashioned way. Oh, shit. All right. Nice. That's what we want. One ball on the left. One ball on the right. And then missing the bookcase completely. Sending the ball completely out of control. And I know we hit the left ramp, so this is lit. Still not getting a good live catch. From the right flipper, yeah! Let's live stupidly. Shoot the fucking electric chair from the right flipper. Ah, alright. So we can get our multi-ball now. So we'll soft plunge into the swamp. Take a skill shot. I mean, take a, another pl soft plunge into the swamp. Yeah. Botch the live catch. And now we're gonna do the dangerous shoot into the electric chair. And the dangerous backhand into the electric chair. And, oh shit. Oh. Fucker. Uh, this really, really want, makes me want to go to an arcade. I don't need to go to an arcade. I've got my own personal arcade in uh, my backyard. So, living the dream. Uh, I know, I think Amanda's hanging out in here, and her and her husband Aaron basically go to an arcade uh, near their house, or I think they operate. I don't know, do you guys operate there, or do you just, is it just really close and you guys are able to go uh, all the time? All right. We're touring the mansion. Not leaving until that's done. I've done it three times already, but I'm not leaving the stream until I do it one more time. Alright. But I would be surprised if you can actually find an arcade near you, uh, Gamer Chick, since arcades have kind of gone the way of the dodo. The maintenance required to keep a pinball machine running is quite huge. Uh, so from an arcade perspective, it's much cheaper to just put a video game on location and let it make money for you hand over fist, rather than a pinball, which also makes decent money, but um, requires a shit ton of maintenance. Cousin it? Jesus! How many stupid mistakes are we gonna make? Ah, fucker! Stupid pinball! I fucking hate you! That's it. World Championship canceled. All right. Got 
get a live catch here, or a bad live catch anyway. Backhand, nice. Oh, you're in the Chicago area. That's cool. Um, Chicago is t actually the birthplace of pinball. So, um, yeah, you should totally be able to find places in there. <laughs> I do get a little feisty, don't I? Uh, but uh, that's just kind of... Fucking... Oh, 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 you fucking piece of shit. I, um... Yeah, uh, <laughs> I get invested in things, and then uh, I don't like playing below what I think is my level. And so, when shit doesn't go my way, it uh, starts to frustrate me, and then it just keeps going downhill from there. And one day, I will figure out how to get my head around stupid shit like that, and not get so angry all the time. But not this day. All right, that was good. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's why. I was like, why is the ball kicking out? Because the ball, they're all locked. Almost a little case there. Okay, we're gonna get control of this ball and then get control of this ball, maybe. Or no, get control of none of the balls. And then watch that. And then just watch the ball bounce around. And fuck that up. And there we go. Alright. Nope. There. Come on, bounce over. All right, that was a good thing lock for another multi-ball. And that's not all. Finish off the thing ramp. Shit! Fuck you. Well, I mean, I'm saying fuck you to the game, but really, that's fuck you to myself for sucking so hard. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so I don't know if anyone's noticed the Nightbot an announcement that I'm taking a poll on uh, what game to stream tomorrow. So if people go over to the link and vote, I'll check the results at the end of stream after I get my last tour of the mansion because, I said, like I said, I'm not leaving until I do. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what tomorrow's game is. All right. I think I'm going to stop wasting my time with that and just do that so we can try and get a good feed to start our way toward Tour of the Mansion. If I could figure out something to do with that electric chair kick out, I would definitely be in a much better position. But I have yet to stop shooting from the right flipper at the electric chair and draining immediately as a result of being a moron and missing shots. Alright, give me a live catch. Nope. Give me a shot into the slingshot and man, either I'm getting tired or I'm getting worse. One of those two. So when we started this stream, we were live catching all over the place, making great shots. Now we can't even get the ball out of the electric chair. We keep missing that shot, which then kills us. Let's try, um, I'm gonna try and post catch on the return. See, if I could just do that every time, we would be in much better shape. Take our five million from Thing, and shoot the left ramp to light our next mode.
Alright, that's gonna come back. That's good. Perfect. Oh, so close to coming down. Oh, damn it! Hmm. Oh, I like when the... I didn't flip the flippers there, the flippers. The game does that. I forget how many games it flips the uh, flippers itself on bonus count. I always thought that was kind of cool. Alright, quick multi. Have a nice swim. Nope, didn't get the bookcase, but we got a ball on the left flipper for a shot at the bookcase. And we've got a ball safely on the right flipper. So we can play a little fast and loose here. Ooh, drop catch. That was a good drop catch. I might start trying to drop catch. Out of the electric chair. All right, nothing going there. Let's get Seance lit. And now we're going to drop catch. That's what we're going to do. That was probably the safest feed I've gotten so far. It's almost a perfect li a live catch there. That was a bad live catch there. I'm going to try and get some more shots towards the mansion rather than trying to pick up points because the main goal here is tour the mansion not a really high score so i mean i want both but the main goal so i'm not here all night is tour the mansion and we're already on ball three but we're making good progress here oh fuck yeah Nobody saw that, right? Nobody was watching me completely fuck up and uh, watch the ball drain down the center instead of flipping the ball, you know, like pushing the button on the right-hand side here and flipping the ball away. We, uh, yeah. Just let it drain. Good job. This is what we love and hate about pinball that no matter how good you play you're still dealing with physics and in the end gravity will always win exactly watching what camper watching nothing watch something else don't watch me fail. Oh. Alright. Nice job, thing. Alright. In good shape here. We're finding the electric chair from the right again. Which is nice. We're still watching the occasional drop catch, but we're definitely having more success than if we weren't doing it. Uh, come on, ball. Thank you for coming back to me. That was very nice of you, game, to let that ball come back. I'm trying to decide if I just ignore this hurry up and keep going after mansion. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I want to tour the mansion. I might go into my multi-ball now just because I've got raised the dead lit and there's no reason not to take a pot shot. Alright. So we can take a full plunge all the way into the pops and get some real good value out of raise the dead which is the mode that's currently running. So do a full plunge, get some good value, and drain the ball. 
That's okay. Oh shit! Oh man, we only got 2.8 million out of Raise the Dead for that plunge? That's bullshit. I thought we would have got more value out of that. My pops are pretty active, so I figured that's for sure I would have got more value out of that. But still, a good bonus. But we made good progress on the mansion. We got one, two, three, four, five, six done. One, two, three, four left, plus touring the mansion. So, we're in a good spot here. That was ball one. We got two balls left to go. Get over here, ball. Oh, wow. Don't do that. Jeez. Oh, this is going to punish me for this. Oh, no. I just said nice, nice little feed there. But it didn't let me have the electric chair. There we go. Drop catch. Come on! Oh, God. All right. Left flipper into the... Or right flipper into the electric chair. Nice. Drop catch. Into the center ramp. Into the electric chair. There we go. Drop catch. Good drop catch, but a bad shot at the ramp. The game's trying to punish me for it, but I'm not letting it. It's saying, fuck you for fucking up. But I recovered. Oh, Jesus. It's playing too fast and loose. Didn't need to make that shot. Still haven't tried the, the post catch from the feed. We're two, two away. If I plunge my skill shot, I'm not gonna get uh, I'm going to start a multi-ball, and I don't want to do that right now. So we're going to play it safe, and uh, completely fuck up the post-transfer, and then probably drain as a result. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus, there we go. Thank you, God. Alright, Jordan Mansion is lit. Just don't fuck up. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. Oh, God damn it. That red blinking light means it's ready. Ah, not letting this game beat me. All right. Not letting you beat me, game. It's not happening. We can do this all day, or all night, I should say. <laughs> oh, I wish that was a mode lit. All right. Oh, that was a bad oh, first tilt of the day, because my tilt's not very tight. But it deserves that, and I moved my camera. All right, there we go. <laughs> Maybe now it'll smarten up. All right, good live catch to a shitty shot to a botched backhand right into the electric chair. Yeah. Goddamn hard. Probably my frustration more than anything, but. Oh, that was cool. If I could just. Oh, don't. Uh, 
Hehehe, <laughs> <laughs> you're a funny guy. Fuck you, Adam's family. I know I'm funny looking, you don't need to point it out. Welcome, on it, Jeff. Alright. Let's stop screwing around here. Yeah, that's not, that's what I meant by not screwing around. Let's let the ball, I, I thought that, uh, I thought I could get a live catch, but obviously the feed is uh, pretty terrible out of that skill shot, so you definitely have to flip it away. But I should have known better. I've been letting that thing go down from uh, missed skill shots all day, and it's been going dead center, so should have known better. That's going into the sling. Let's go, thing. I still think that's a really cool feature for this game, where um, when you roll over that thing flips insert and then you shoot the center ramp, yeah, the left flipper, left upper flipper actually shoots the ball for you into that uh, swamp. It's not 100% accurate, it's pretty damn accurate and uh, definitely more accurate than I am. So it's like three points and it's really kind of cool when it works. It's, uh, it's all done through software. There's an opto that sits here and when the ball triggers that opto, it then times its shot uh, on when to flip that upper flipper and gets more and more accurate the more it does it. So like I'm nowhere near as accurate as it is. But, all right, take that. Backhand, going around, here comes Thing. So hands off, right into this one. Thanks, Thing. Awfully nice of you to help me out there, since my shot making is pretty terrible right now. All right, so we're going to try and play a little more conservatively here. Try and get this done. I saw that I could trap pretty easily on the right on that field. So I'm going to try and do that to, uh, rather than taking these pot shots from the right flipper into the electric chair. But we have to still not botch. Okay. We still can't botch the uh, drop catch or else everything goes to hell. And the live catch in that instance we can't botch as well. No, come on, ball. Oh. Man, this game's just beating the shit out of me now. <sighs> Alright, one more. Welcome this is the thing, right? Like, it's funny um, playing pinball because there's all there's there's certain games. Game of chick with the bits! Thanks, dude. Or thanks, I shouldn't say dude ed, I guess I should say in this part in this case. Um, but as I was saying, the thing I like about pinball and the thing that uh, keeps me playing it is this whole one more game, you know what I mean? Like there's this thing that I know I can accomplish. I've done it a hundred times before, and through my own misplay and just bad feeds and other things, I'm not doing it. And there's no reason I shouldn't. And like on a video game, like you know, you watch people do. You watch like Brian, gamer chick dude. Yeah, exactly, Camper. Uh, you watch like Brian do his uh, Mario runs, and like while he makes mistakes. Um, he's got that shit like down pat and uh, every game, every run seems to be very similar whereas every game of pinball is always different like you'll never play the same game like, twice and so this one more game, one more game thing it really gets ingrained to you when you want to do something and you just keep missing it by one shot or five shots or whatever and you're just like, one more game, I can do it I know I can, one more game and so you keep playing and like as much as I'm yelling and screaming and swearing I'm still smiling too. Like this is still a lot of fun, right? So 
I'm much, uh, I really do like pinball. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy that this is something that I get to enjoy, something I get to share with people, something that people are watching me fail on, and uh, <laughs> watching me succeed sometimes as well. But not succeed right now. Watch, right now it's all failure. 100% failure. Alright. Go, man. Nice. Oh, this should be interesting. Let's see if I can do... Oh, no. I was hoping to get a star from a combo there, but I missed the shot. There we go. Around the ramp. Not bad miss there, but... Another bad miss. That was a much worse miss. That was even worse. This is gonna probably kill me. Nope. Let's post transfer. Stop fucking around here. Because the game's not having any of it. Good drop catch. Bad shot to the center ramp. It's back hand it. Nope. Back hands are not safe. Let's go up there instead. That's much safer, except for the botched live catch on the other end, than uh, trying to backhand that center ramp. Oh, that was a perfect post catch there. I wish I was going to start trying to do that more often, I think, because that was really nice. But we're fucking wasting it by letting this ball go everywhere. All right. Post transfer into the electric chair. I mean, into the pop bumpers. Squandering that really nice post catch, but we're back under control. All right. Into the electric chair. Nice. Drop catch. I mean, post transfer, I mean, slingshot transfer, yeah. Into the multi ball. We'll use the multi ball to uh, shoot another left ramp and uh, light the chair for me with uh, some impunity, I guess I should say. Because if we lose one ball, we're still okay. Well, this is interesting. So, Playfield hasn't validated even though I hit three switches. We get another shot at that left ramp. And we got it. Oh shit. That's okay that we lost that multi ball really quickly. Oh god. Alright, we're okay. Still good. Gotta hurry up now. Let's just take. A multi ball? Yep, that's why. Why not? 12 million on a multi ball? 12 million a shot under that bookcase? I'll take some of that. Why the hell not? I mean, the whole goal of this game is points at the end of the day. Might as well try and get some. Oh shit. So we'll take some shots at that bookcase. Let's go back to the backhand and see if the backhand. No, nope, backhand's still not super reliable. Now we've got two balls out of control, and we got one back under control. Look at that grave value, 2.3 million, man. That's really good grave value if I can uh, get Thing to hit me a uh, 5x, that'd be good. We're going to post transfer over, get ready for our uh, shot of the electric chair. And it's not fucking plugged in yet. 3 million grave. We're going to go get our Thing for 5 million. And then get our left ramp. Do, 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 do
Doo -doo -doo -doo. There's our left ramp to a shitty live catch, but that's okay. Oh, come on. I gotta stop trying to do those backhands on the fly. They are fucking dicey as fuck. Okay. Bing! Oh shit. Let's go this way. Go to that left ramp rather than the way we're dealing with it now. Bounce this over. Post transfer. Into the electric chair. That's what we're talking about, baby. I'm not going to talk about the fact that I'm actually two tiles away from Tour of the Mansion. We're not, we're not going to mention that fact right now. We're, uh, we're nowhere near the mansion, right? Yeah. We're not, uh, we're not going to talk about the fact that we're getting really close to Tour of the Mansion here at all. That's not exact. That's not all what I'm mentioning. Wow, 12 million on that uh, on that uh, thing flips. That's pretty good. All right, multi ball open or well, multi ball lock open. Post transfer. Man, my post transfer is getting worse. All right, there we go. And we all know why it's getting worse. And it's not because we're one shot away from touring the mansion here. That has, thank you. Ah, good, done. <laughs> 50 million. Nice. All right, now we're just gonna go Left ramp all day while we play all the modes. Oh, no, we're just going to drain immediately. But I think we still have a ball left, so... We made the, the mansion. That's what we wanted. Doesn't matter that it was completely shitty. We made it there. That's the end goal, and we got there. So, we're good. But we're going to try... Uh, if we've got a third ball, we're going to try for the multi-ball. And then at the end of the third ball, we're going to call it good. So 189 million, lock is lit. My mansion is free again. We'll let that drain. Try for another skill shot. Four million skill shot. And another shot at the left ramp. Now we're gonna shoot into the vault. Just like I said. Lock the ball for multi-ball. Short plunge into the swamp. Lock ball number two. And swamp is kicking out. And now we're going straight into multi-ball. I mean, we're going to rattle around and not go straight into multi-ball. There we go. Multi-ball. This is such a fun multi-ball start. It's really well done. See if we can't deal with these kickouts. Uh, we're gonna have to cradle separate here, but we didn't. That one was not great either. This is better. Yep, that was better. So now we can go after our super jackpot on the left ramp. Or we cannot and drain. So we're gonna have to go back into thing if we get the ball back under control. So we'll go left ramp. I mean we'll go missing the left ramp. Man, this ball does not want to settle down. Not at all. Five seconds to get into thing to save this multi-ball. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Sorry, old man. 
still didn't even get it on the, what I thought would have, that would have been a really long grace period, but. And Thing missed, oh, Thing's got it in anyway. 12 million for that. Let's go back to, let's see if we can't, uh, let's tour the mansion on one ball. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Completely plausible. Completely reasonable thing to do. Tour the mansion on one ball. See, that's the shot we needed to restart our multi ball, but missed it. There's a nice up a ramp into a really nice live catch and into the electric chair. Go, Thing! You missed again, Thing! Ah, tried to bounce that over, didn't get it. 224 million at the end of that ball. So happy that we made it to tour the mansion again. That'll probably be on the board, I think. Yep. That's good. Happy with the way that ended. I mean, after about six games of bullshit, we did end up uh, touring the mansion. I'm going to take a quick look at the poll that I put up and see the twos and threes of people that voted to uh, say what we're playing tomorrow. So we got two votes. We got Attack from Mars and we got Mousing Around. So I guess it'll be up to me to decide uh, what we play between Attack from Mars and Mousing Around. Unless someone wants to make a deciding vote uh, right now before I uh, stop the stream. <laughs> All right. I think that's going to basically do it for today's stream. Let's see who's left after all my swearing and yelling. Still a few people. Texan here. Camper. Slow cool. Gamer chick. Well, thanks for everyone for hanging out and watching me have a mini meltdown. Uh, thanks for the, yeah, I, it was a good stream. Thanks for uh, saying so. Here's the repost, uh, camper, if you want to. You missed the entire thing. You just got here, Tech? I've been live for, what have I been live for? I don't even know. Two hours, dude. <laughs> this is my longest pinball stream so far, I think. Because uh, this game's a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So, Camper is going to go vote for, well, you should see, if you hit click results, you should see it's Attack from Mars and Mousing Around are the two games that are currently tied for uh, what we play tomorrow. So, 50-50 right now. One vote each. It's a close match. <laughs> I should have had Nightbot spam that a bit more, I guess, during, uh, during stream. And Camper with the 100 bits again, thank you very much. Gamer Chick, I think you threw me another 10. I really appreciate that. James with 20s so far. Who else we got in here? And then my wife, Denise, or Mrs. Pickle, I should say, is Enraged Coconut, who's given me 3 bits, which really only becomes 1.5 bits because she gets half. So Camper voted, and we got one vote for Foursquare as well. So it looks like tomorrow's stream is going to be mousing around. So that's a pretty fun game. Uh, it's got some really interesting layout, uh, some really cool physical locks, some fun sounds. Uh, I don't want to vote since I don't know the game, but I don't mind breaking the tie. <laughs> it doesn't matter, dude. Like, uh, I really don't care what I play. So, like, you can vote because you think the name sounds cool. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't about uh, voting the best game in. We're not, you know, voting for president. We're just fucking around, right? I got more than enough games that I can play anything, so... Uh, I don't know which is either, which is why I chose what no one else chose. Yeah, Foursquare is um, an old EM, so that would be the first EM I've done on stream. An EM is the electrical mecha mechanical games where uh, I, I think, well, I can try and, let's see, let me like, take a look here. So I'm going to give you all motion sickness for a second, and I'll take the camera. And so that's Foursquare sitting over there, that old game uh, sitting beside Viking. So it's an old electromechanical uh, game that's 
the old four, that's four square. So we'll get that one on stream at some point. We'll get at least 30 games on stream before the end of the month. So yeah, it's another good stream. A lot of fun playing Adam's Family. Uh, hopefully the people that are coming to IFPA learn something. And uh, I really appreciate the bits. I really appreciate the follows. And uh, thanks, everyone, for hanging out. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.